Hello. Today we're going to embroider stockings. Now furs and textured fabrics like these can be tricky to sew on because we need to do a little bit more prep. Also, we need to be able to figure out how to get this into the hoop. Now in a previous video, we made our little monogram. So if you want to watch that video, you can. But now the trick is to get this on my stocking. Now I've marked this with a pin that's right down here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. And that's so that I know that the stocking is going to go in this direction, and also that that's the bottom of my lettering. So the next step is to get it in the hoop. And how you do that is going to depend on what kind of machine you're sewing on. For example, I have a multi-needle machine. We're going to pretend that my hooping station is my multi-needle machine. And imagine that here's my machine, and the needle is going up and down here. On a multi-needle machine, they're generally tubular. So we're going to slide the design on or the project on there. So what I need to do here is turn my cuff out and I need to turn my stocking inside out. And it's going to go on there like that. So it's hanging down here like this and you can see how it's going to embroider. So there's some nice hoops that will make this very easy. We don't have that option on our flatbed home machines. So we need to do something a little bit different. So what we need to do there is have our stocking right side out. And we're going to take it and it's going to be stuck down in the hoop this way. So we're going to have to do a floating method. Now, this design will actually fit in a four inch hoop. So I could hoop this between the rings this way, but it's probably going to be so tight then I'm not going to have enough space to pull this up out of the way so that I don't sew it into the back. So we're going to have to do this floating method. Now, we could hoop this in our four inch hoop. And this is, uh, I've got sulky, sticky, which is what I'm using here. This is my stabilizer. It's a tearaway backing. It's a pretty lightweight tearaway. And our stockings are, these stockings are very stable, so I'm not worried about any stretching. And the design is not all that dense, so I'm not worried about it perforating too much. Also, um, a thing that you might run into with sticky stabilizers is they can make your design feel stiff. That's not going to be an issue with our stocking. So we've hooped the sticky, and I'm actually going to use my 5x7 hoop. Now normally you would use the smallest hoop that would fit your design. But when you're using a floating method, sometimes it's advisable to have a bigger area to have more sticking power for your project. It'll make it a little bit more secure. So let's get it hooped. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I have another stocking here that's already prepared. Now let's talk about it for a minute. So this one, I've already positioned my name in there. And I've also pinned some salvi on top. So I've pinned the salvi right on top of the um, stocking. And I need that to hold down the nap while I embroider. I'm going to use a special stitch to mat down the fibers, but I still want to use this salvi. So I've got that pinned in place, and then I pinned my template on top. The reason I did this rather than try to pin it in the hoop is I want the template on top so that I can position it at my machine and still take that off without disturbing my topping. Normally I would hoop everything all together, my stabilizer, my topping, and everything, but we have to float. So I'm going to set up my hooping station here, flip it over. I actually could use my big hooping station for this, and I'm going to have to stand up, so I'll come back in just a moment. So I have my hooping station in place. This is the kidney hooping station. I've added this pinstripe as a racing stripe for positioning. So it's just automotive pinstriping material to get at the store. And I'm just going to use a couple of magnets to hold my hoop in place. It'll actually stay in place without me doing this, but this makes it a little bit more secure. And the reason I like to use a hooping station even for projects like this is I know that it's not going to move around. So this is my 5x7 hoop. I have it positioned, and all I have to do is line this up. Now another advantage of using this larger hoop is that I have more space to move around in the machine. 
in a four by four hoop, because this design is just five millimeters smaller than my hoop, I'm going to have to be really precise about how I line it up. So all I really have to do is make sure it's straight. I'm just going to stick it down. And at the machine, I'm going to have to hold this back like this so that I don't get this caught in the machine. So yes, it's going to be a little tricky, but it's possible. So once it's in the hoop and secured, I'm ready to take it to the machine and we're ready to sew. So I've got my stocking in the machine and I can see my template and I can see my design. I've already got it rotated and they're going in the same direction. So now all I need to do is move the needle so it's over the center of my design. And I'll just do that like this. And that looks pretty good. So I just unpin that. And I'll take this other pin out as well. And here's the tricky part. I'm going to have to hold this and keep an eye on this while this stitches. Now, let's talk about the design. It's a two-color design. The first color is white. And what that is, it's a matte down stitch. It's going to permanently hold down my uh, texture. So this is kind of like a permanent topping. You still want to use the salvi, but this is going to hold down the fur so that it doesn't come back up through the, the lettering like weeds in a sidewalk. The ne next color is the red. When I'm ready to sew, just going to lower the presser foot, press start. So color number one is done. I'm just going to clip that up there, pull the thread through, and we'll change to color number two. Always make sure your presser foot is up when you thread your machine. And you might want to slow your machine down. I'm probably not sewing at top speed anyway. I rarely sew at top speed, but that way you can keep an eye on it and you won't sew into your fingers. So our design is done sewing. And get it off the machine here. And there you can see it. I'll just peel it out of the hoop here. Need to do a little bit more stabilizer removal, but there's our stocking. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like, subscribe, and make a comment. Thanks for watching.